All right, so we've added the tracking code to our website and we're starting to get the analytics coming through. We know that we've got visitors to our site. Or have we? Have you been looking at your own blog post over and over again? Right, so this video, we're gonna look at how do you filter out your own home IP address so that you're not actually tracking your own visits to your site. So let's jump in. So we've added our Google Analytics tracking code to our website, and we can see that we've got one active user right now. However, I'm the person that's on my website. So if I'm looking at my web statistics, I'm looking at the traffic, I don't want to see all of my own visits being tracked. I don't want to look at reports and have things inflated. I don't want to kind of see that information. So even though this isn't very exciting, this is more is probably one of the more tedious or little sort of mundane admin type things that we need to look at. One of the first things that I suggest is that we add in a filter so that we actually block traffic or we don't count traffic from our own IP address. So it just means that when we're at home and we are doing work on our site or we're looking at something, we're not mistakenly or we're not kind of tracking that as what I would call legitimate visitors. So let's go ahead and we will look at how to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the admin area from the left hand navigation. Now, when we go into the, um, the admin area, we've got different things that we can look at. We've got the account, the property, and then we also have views. Now, in another session, we'll look at how we can create different views. But for now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to filter the view for all of the website data. Now, in the future, when we look at other um, other videos and you see how you can create additional views, you might still decide to keep your own traffic within the main view. That's totally fine. You might want to filter your traffic out of all of the views altogether. So we'll look at how to do it and then you can decide later on how you want to approach it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on filters and I'm going to go ahead and click on add filter. Now I'm going to call this filter exclude home IP and I'm going to go for a predefined filter type and I want to exclude traffic from the IP addresses that are equal to. Now we'll see there that it has IP address and it's got two different examples. There is a um, IP address that is known as IPv4 and then is one that is IPv6. So the IPv4 is the one that has um, four different sections. So there it's got the example 74.125.19.103. And then the other one is a little bit longer. So if you're not sure what your IP address is, most people do not know that off the top of their head. I can just go ahead and open up a new browser and say, what is my IP? And typically, you're going to have it be displayed. Um, if you're using Google, you'll see there that it says, what is my IP? And it has an IP listed. I can also click on one of the options. And then it's going to show me um, my IPv6 and IPv4. You really want to grab the one that is the, um, the longest string and do the IPv6. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paste that in there and I'm going to go ahead and save that filter. Now I'm going to go back to the home area. And from here, we'll see that we've got the active users. Now, it's a little bit more challenging for this to, to kind of prove <laughs> that it's worked because obviously I have um, visitors going to my website all the time. Um, so let's go ahead and refresh that. They might legitimately be a visitor on the site at the moment. There we go. Perfect. So that now from that point forward, that IP address, any visits that are coming directly from there will be filtered out. So anytime I go to my site, it's not going to appear that I've had visitors to the website. 
Again, in a future video, we will look at how we can create additional views. So you can have your default, every single visit, all the information and all of the analytics we can have within the all website data view. And then we can add other views and use the filters on that. For me, I really don't want to know anything about my own visits. So I just put the filter and apply it onto the all website data view. And that works fine for me. So. Again, like I said, this is not a very exciting one, but to me, it's an important one to make sure that you do this from the start so that your own visits are not tracked and you get a better sense and a better understanding of where your visits are actually coming from. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.